Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Live Pigeon to go live to YouTube.com using what's called a stream key. I'm also going to be showing you how to upload a thumbnail, schedule it, and send out notifications to your audience so that way they can get the most of this whole thing. The software is called Live Pigeon and it's all about live streaming videos pre-recorded. Let's jump into how it works. The first step is to go to youtube.com and we're gonna go to our little camera icon here and we're gonna click go live. Now don't worry, you're not immediately gonna go live. This is gonna give us a bunch of settings that we can set so that way we can connect everything to Live Pigeon and get this all to work. When you get in here, this should look a little something like this and you're gonna wanna create a new stream. Now, just a small side note, if you're not seeing a place to create a new stream, it might be because you haven't enabled live video on your YouTube channel yet. But you typically have to go in, click a button and wait 24 hours and then you'll be enabled for live streaming. If this is a huge problem, there's not really much of a workaround on YouTube. You're just going to have to wait the 24 hours. This is on YouTube's end. You've just got to wait it out. Awesome. And then I'm going to make sure it's public. But because this is a test, I might set this to unlisted. And we've got our default description. And then we can upload whatever um, genre this is. And I think science and technology is great. We're going to schedule this for later. We're actually going to schedule this to go live today at about, oh, let's say 11.10 a.m. We're gonna upload a custom thumbnail. This is the thumbnail that I wanna upload. I'm gonna click open. Next, you have to tell YouTube that it's not age restricted and that you don't wanna restrict your video at all. We're gonna click create live stream and that's literally the hardest part. Everything else is super downhill from here. The next step is to go in and make sure our settings are all set correctly. Now, I highly recommend normal latency because we're gonna be working with Live Pigeon and we don't need to set this any differently. And here, I highly recommend enabling the DVR setting. DVR is a setting that allows your viewers to go back in time and they can rewind up to four hours. So let's say you have an eight hour live stream or two hour live stream and people wanna go back five minutes, enabling DVR is what's gonna allow them to do that. Now, we don't have any closed captions, but if we did, we could upload them there super easily. And everything else is in effect. So now, all we've gotta do is we've gotta pay attention to these two numbers right here. The stream URL and the stream key right here. Okay, now that we have those numbers, let's open up a brand new tab and we're gonna to go to livepigeon.com. And normally, you're probably pretty used to clicking this red sign into YouTube button all the time, right? But because we're doing this a little bit more manually, we're gonna click go live to other platforms down below and manually add a stream key. Now when you're here, you can select or drag and drop a file and then all of your videos will appear here. I've already uploaded a video called Family on the Beach and what I can do is click this little triple dot and I can have some options here. Now because I wanna schedule this, I'm gonna click schedule live and we're gonna set our stream key and stream URL right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back, we're gonna copy our stream URL and hit paste. And now we need to put our stream key here below. So we'll click this one, this is the one that's hidden. Don't feel like you have to worry about the backup stream URL at all. That's for really advanced users, people with bad Wi-Fi connections or that sort of thing. Because we're using Live Pigeon, Live Pigeon has amazing high quality servers that they're gonna be streaming for us, meaning that we don't need to worry about stream health or lag or Wi-Fi or choppiness or anything. In fact, they just make it super easy and all I gotta do is copy the stream. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, click copy. We're gonna go back to Live Pigeon. Now I told YouTube that this will go live today at 11, 10 a.m. So let's go to 11, 10 a.m. We'll click done. And now this will depart in 18 minutes and 26 seconds. Now, if you want, you can come back to YouTube Studio and click on manage. And this will allow you to manage all of your current live streams. Note that if I deleted this, right, I would also have to come in here and delete it on Live Pigeon. Now I can set this to public or private or whatever else I want. I can go in here, I can make changes, I can edit, I can get a shareable link. And this is the part where you can blast out to your audience, right? Now you can also have the promote tool. Promote works once you have it actually live and this is where you can run money behind it to get more eyeballs. And that's it, you're literally done. You don't need to do anything else from this point. Live Pigeon will take care of the rest. Well, let's come back in a few minutes once this thing's actually going live and I'll show you the rest. And now that Live Pigeon is streaming this, our video is popping up right here and we have a sweet little preview. Now, it's important to go up here and click go live as soon as you see this. Even though we're getting a preview of the video that I'm currently going live with right now, it's not actually live yet. We're just getting a preview feed of it. To actually get it to start, we have to go up here and click go live. Once this is clicked on, then we should see it pop right up in our YouTube channel. Look, 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 look. Now that it's live, we can actually see it right now live. And people can start tuning in if it wasn't unlisted, of course. This is amazing, guys. It is showing that we are live right now on the Oregon coast, but we're not actually on the Oregon coast at all. We have nothing to do with the Oregon coast, but yet, look at that. 
We're on the Oregon coast, guys, live. This is seriously an amazing way to get more engagement, more eyeballs, more views than ever. In fact, all of our subscribers will get notifications immediately that we are live right now, if this is public. And then the coolest part is people can go in and tune in from their phones and see what's going on. Even if they haven't clicked the notification bell, sometimes they'll still get notifications that, hey, so-and-so is going live. This is a great way to push people back into your videos. And now, you don't even have to be live meaning that you can record all of them ahead of time. Or if you're like me, sometimes you just want to show people that you're at the Oregon coast when you're not really, right? It's a great way to get more views than ever. Now, if you're anything like me, you're probably thinking, well, wait a second, Alex, you probably just lost the first minute of that footage because by the time it started streaming, by the time you clicked go live now, didn't you just lose like the first minute of footage because you had to click go live by the time live could you actually start streaming? To counter this problem, there's a simple solution. I recommend that you put up your logo for the first 60 seconds of your video and you have your editor put that up. Maybe a little nice jingle or music. Or another thing you can do is banter at the beginning. All you gotta do is pull out your phone, go to the record app, and then film a super simple video. What we like to film for some of our videos when we're filming is something along the lines like this. Hey everyone, we're going live right now. Holy smokes. Now, we're about to get started with this whole thing in just a minute, but before we get into it, um, I just wanna ask you guys real quick, can you invite your friends, invite your people on? See how many people we can get onto this live stream right now. Share this with your friends, share this with your family. We have a huge bonus coming up here in just a couple minutes. You guys are gonna love this, you don't wanna miss out. And you see, just simple video like that with a super simple prompt, it doesn't matter where we actually click go live and we start from, but if we lose those 60 seconds, we lose that first little video, that's totally fine. But then that gives us time to be able to stream it and then click go live and then everything works. From the bottom of my heart, I really hope you got a ton of value from this and I really hope this helped you out a bunch. If it did and it genuinely did help you out, don't forget to hit the like button. It really helps our video out and it helps our video be seen by other people who also need this same strategy and we can help those people too. Thank you for watching and I can't wait to see you again, hopefully live, on the next one. Take it easy, guys.